Hey, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. I'm Oren, and today I'm going to be reviewing probably the smallest computer I own. It sits on my wrist every day. It's the Apple Watch Series 4. The Apple Watch Series 4, first released in 2018, featured a brand new screen with rendered edges that looks amazing in any lighting conditions. It also featured an ECG and all overall improved specs, making the performance of the watch amazing. But is it still worth it in 2021? I have the aluminum version, which looks exactly the same as brand new Series 6, and it actually features the same internals as the newer Series 5. The only health feature it doesn't have that the Series 6 have is a blood oxygen checker. From my experience, the watch is durable. It's got aluminium edges, a ceramic under, and a glass top. Glass is glass, so it can crack, and I've got a few scratches on it, but I wore a protective screensaver to prevent any further damage. There are many options when buying an Apple Watch from different metals to different colours and different watch straps, the main things being the size and either GPS or cellular, cellular variants. The watch comes in two sizes, 40mm and 44mm, I have the larger version. It also comes in two options, cellular or non-cellular. Cellular means you don't need your phone on you because the watch is a phone. I don't have that because it was out of my budget. So I have the Wi-Fi GPS version, you can tell if it's a cellular version because it'll have a little red dot on the crown. If you're wondering about the size, I think it's a perfect size screen for viewing apps and the time and playing mini games on it. The watch when wearing a metal strap does tend to limit the hand movement, that might just be me. So I wear silicon straps and other non hard straps. Speaking of straps, the watch has a toolless design so straps can be added or removed very easily. You add a strap by making sure the metal side of the strap is facing downwards and slotting it in. Once it doesn't slide anymore, you know it's attached properly. To remove the strap, simply press the little button at the back of the watch and it should slide out easily. I really recommend the standard silicone strap, it's the one I wear almost every day and it's just great for working out or basically any scenario. Moving on to watch OS, it's purpose built for the device, meaning everything just works seamless from opening apps to changing watch faces. It's just really good and it adds so much functionality to such a small device. The Series 4 is also due to get watchOS 8, which will add more functionality and update apps like photos and add more sleep tracking and it will also add more use for smart home devices. To change the watch face, simply hold down on your display, swipe left and then click the plus button and then use the scroll wheel to scroll through the different displays and choose the one you want. You can also change it in the watch app on your iPhone. To edit a specific part of a watch face, hold down the display again and then click edit. For example, I can select Earth and then scroll through and choose the option I want. I'll just choose battery life. And then just tap the side button twice and your changes are saved. Believe it or not, you can actually get games on this device. They are basically fake versions of Flappy Bird and other similar basic games, but they do work well even if I am terrible at them. Something I think Apple does them really well and attracts a lot of people to the Apple Watch is the exercise rings. There's one for moving, which reminds you to stand up every hour for 12 hours. There's another for exercise. It tells you to do 30 minutes of exercise if that's what you've got it set to. There's different things to set it to. I've got it set to one at least, just because I don't do much exercise lately. And there's also another for calories, and it tracks how many calories you burn. And once you've got all the rings, you get little rewards throughout the day. I think it's a really neat feature. So, apart from tracking exercise, what does it do? Well, it's a watch, so it can track time, but it can also do a lot more. It can download apps, it can be used to pay for things instead of using your phone or your card with Apple Pay. It monitors your heart rate, so depending on the watch face, you can see it at a quick glance, or you can go into the health app. It's also water resistant, not to be confused with waterproof, and there's a little feature where you swipe up and you can click eject water and it vibrates and ejects water from the speakers. It can also do a lot more. I haven't tested the ECG because I'm not 22 and for some reason that's a requirement. The watch feels very fast and snappy, apps open instantly and the overall performance is just great. Keep in mind it's not as fast as a smartwatch but for what you use an Apple watch for you can't really tell much of a difference. Personally the most annoying part of owning this watch is how small the battery is. Apple says it should last about 18 hours. After a full day of use I have to charge it every evening otherwise the next day it'll power off halfway through the day. But the good thing about the watch being so small and the battery being so small is that it charges really fast. As mentioned before the screen size is 44mm. Apps and pictures look crisp on this device because it is an OLED screen. 
Sadly, there isn't an always-on display on this watch, but there is something called Raise to Wake. What this is, is when you raise your wrist or turn it towards you, the display turns on. This works great in all scenarios, apart from when you're eating popcorn in the cinema and it lights up the whole theatre. Now, on to some of my personal favourite things about this watch. The first one is notifications. Just having a little screen on your wrist that you can take a glance at and scroll through notifications is so much easier than getting your phone out of the pocket, even though I know how lazy that sounds, but it is really good. And there's also nice little notifications to keep you motivated throughout the day to like finish your exercise goals. Something else I really like about this watch is that it features a camera app that links to your phone, so you can use it as a little viewfinder to watch through your camera. Or you can have your phone at the opposite side of the room and you can click a little button on this and it'll take a picture of you. Now this has got to be my all time favourite thing about the watch, it recently got an update so when I go on my phone, when I'm out in public wearing a mask, it just unlocks while I'm wearing a mask, there's no need to type a code in like it's 2011, it's just made life so much easier and it should have been here throughout the whole of the pandemic. Something else I really like about the watch is a little feature and it's a feature where you swipe up and you click a little button and it pings your iPhone so when you've misplaced your phone you just click the button, it pings it from wherever it is in the house and you can hear it and find it easily. I got this used on eBay for around £230 over a year ago and they now sell for about 150 to 130 and for that price you really can't go wrong. So do I recommend the Series 4 Apple Watch in 2021? The simple answer is yes, it's a great watch and I really can't recommend it enough. Overall, if you own this device, you've got yourself a pretty good smartwatch, it's got a nice design, most of the latest features and I've never had any issues with it. If you're thinking about getting one, I'd actually hold off for a few months just to see what September brings. The Series 7 leaks for the smartwatch have been pretty crazy and I'm looking forward to seeing what they bring out. If you own this device or are thinking about getting one, tell me what your favourite feature of the device is in the comments below. So if you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. Check out my channel for more tech related content and please like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.